Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome to the cold planet. Well, what that means? Cold planet? I am not on the cold planet. I am talking about cold planets. Uranus and Neptune. But this video is only about Uranus, not about Neptune. Uranus. A beautiful planet which is somehow different from other planets. This planet also has a ring system like about Saturn. But its rotation, its rings are many many times different from other planets or sometimes a bit different from the other planets. Let's suppose other planets rotate like that but this Uranus planet rotates like that. That kind of movement. So this is an exceptional case. So if you want to know why this rotation is like so what is its ring systems what is this planet have the moons or not have the moons so for you if you want to know about that all the information in a detailed one watch this video till the end and if you have not subscribed to my channel yet then please do subscribe it and support me by following me on social accounts so let us proceed to the gold planet Uranus is the seventh planet from the Sun and the first to be discovered by scientists. Although Uranus is visible to the naked eye, it was long mistaken as a star because of the planet's dimness and slow orbit. The planet is also notable for its dramatic tilt, which causes its axis to point nearly directly at the Sun. British astronomer William Herschel discovered Uranus on March 13, 1781, which his telescope while surveying all stars down to those about 10 times dimmer than can be seen by the naked eye. One star seemed different, and within a year, Herschel realized that the star followed a planetary orbit. Uranus was named after the Greek sky deity Uranus. It is the only planet to be named after a Greek god rather than a Roman one. Before the name was settled on, many names had been proposed for the new planet including Hyperchronius which means above Saturn, Minerva the Roman goddess of wisdom and Herschel after its discover. To flatter King George III of England, Herschel proposed a name Georgium Sidrus the Georgian planet, but the idea was unpopular outside England and King George's native Hanover, Germany. German astronomer Johann Bode, who detailed Uranus' orbit, gave the planet its ultimate name. Bode argued that as Saturn was the father of Jupiter, the new planet should be named for the father of Saturn. Well, to end up the history discussion, let us move to the physical characteristics. Uranus is blue-green in color as a result of the methane in its mostly hydrogen-helium atmosphere. The planet is often dubbed an ice giant since at least 80% of its mass is a filled fluid mix of water, methane and ammonia ice. Unlike the other planets, of the solar system. Uranus is tilted so far that it essentially orbits the Sun on its side, with the axis of its spin nearly pointing at the star. This unusual orientation might be due to a collision with a planet-sized body or several small bodies soon after it was formed. A 2018 study suggested the colliding world could have been twice the size of Earth. This unusual tilt gives rise to extreme seasons that last for about 20 years. This means that for nearly a quarter of the Uranian year, which is equal to 84 Earth years, the sun shines directly over each pole, leaving the other half of the planet to experience a long, dark and frigid winter. Uranus has the coldest atmosphere of any of the planets in the solar system, even though it is not the most distant from the Sun, that is because Uranus has little to no internal heat to supplement the heat from the Sun. 
The magnetic poles of most planets are typically more or less lined up with the axis along which it rotates. But Uranus' magnetic field is tilted with its magnetic axis, tipped nearly 60 degrees away from the planet's axis of rotation. This leads to a strangely lopsided magnetic field for Uranus. With the strength of the field at the northern hemisphere's surface being up to more than 10 times than that of strength at the southern hemisphere's surface. A 2017 study suggested the lopsided nature of Uranus' magnetic field may also lead it no flicker on and off during every rotation, about every 17.24 hours. Uranus' atmospheric composition by volume is 82.5% of hydrogen, 15.2% of helium, and 2.3% of methane. Its internal structure is made up of metal of water, ammonia, and methane ices, as well as core of iron and magnesium silicate. Uranus' average distance from the Sun is about roughly about 1.8 billion miles or 2.9 billion kilometers according to NASA. That is about 19 times the distance from the Earth to the Sun. Well, now let us discuss its orbital characteristics. Its equatorial diameter is 51,118 km. Its mass is 8.7 to 10 power 25 kilograms. Its mean distance from the Sun is 19.2 astronomical units. Its rotation period is 17 hours 14 minutes. Its solar orbit period is 84 years. Its surface gravity is 8.7 meter per square seconds. Its surface temperature is minus 2 10 degrees Celsius. From these data, it is concluded that a year on Earth equals 84 years on Uranus means a whole life of a man and one day on earth equals 23 hours and 56 minutes but on Uranus it is 17 hours and 14 minutes well that is also a strange one Uranus climate the extreme axial tilt Uranus experiences can give rise to unusual weather as sunlight reaches some areas for the first time in years, heat up the atmosphere triggering gigantic springtime storms according to NASA. However, when Voyager 2 first imaged Uranus in 1986 at the height of summer in its south, the spacecraft saw a bland looking sphere with only about 10 or so visible clouds, leading to it to be dubbed the most boring planet. Wrote astronomer Heidi Hamill in the Ice Giant Systems of Uranus and Neptune, a chapter in Solar System Update, Springer 2007. A compilation of reviews in solar system science, it was decades later when advanced telescopes such as Hubble came into play and Uranus' long seasons changed before scientists witnessed the extreme weather on Uranus. In 2014, astronomers got their first glimpse at summer storms raging on Uranus. Strangely, these massive storms took place seven years after the planet reached its closest approach to the Sun. And it remains a mystery why the giant storms occurred after the Sun's heating on the planet was at a maximum. Other unusual weather on Uranus included Diamond rain Well, that is now a strange one. A diamond rain on the most boring planet which is thought to sink thousands of miles below the surface of icy giant planets such as Uranus and Neptune. Carbon and hydrogen are thought to compress under extreme heat and pressure deep in the atmospheres of these planets to form diamonds, which are even thought to sink downward, eventually settling around the cores of these worlds. Yes, Uranus has rings. The rings of Uranus were first to seen after Saturn's. Well, if you want to see my Saturn planet documentary video then kindly click on the top right. They were a significant discovery because it helped astronomers understand that rings are a common feature of planets, not merely a peculiarity of Saturn. Uranus possesses two sets of rings. The inner system of rings consists of mostly of narrow, dark rings 
while an outer system of two more distant rings discovered by the Hubble Space Telescope are brightly colored, one red, one blue. Scientists have identified 13 known rings around Uranus. A 2016 study suggested that the rings of Uranus, Saturn and Neptune may be the remnants of Pluto-like dwarf planets that strayed too close to the giant worlds long ago. These dwarf planets were torn apart in the planet's vast gravities and are today preserved as rings. Uranus has also moons. Well, it has 27 known moons instead of being named after figures from Greek or Roman mythology. Its first four moons were named after magical spirits in English literature such as William Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream and Alexander Pope's The Rape of the Lock. Since then, astronomers have continued this tradition drawing names for the moons from the works of Shakespeare or Pope. Oberon and Titania are the largest Uranian moons and were the first to be discovered by Herschel in 1787. William Lessel, who was also the first to see a moon orbiting Neptune, discovered Uranus' next two moons, Ariel and Umbriel. Nearly a century passed before Dutch-American astronomer Gerard Kuiper, he of Kuiper Belt fame, found Miranda in 1948. In 1986, Voyager 2 visited the Uranian system and discovered an additional 10 moons, all just 16 to 96 miles or 26 to 154 kilometers in diameter. Juliet, Puck, Cordelia, Ophelia, Bianza, Desdemona, Portia, Rosalind, Cressida, and Belinda. Each of those moons are roughly half water ice and half rock, means that there is no life possible on there. Since then, astronomers using Hubble and ground-based observatories have raised the total to 27 known moons and spotting these was tricky. They are as little as 8 to 10 miles or 12 to 16 kilometers across, blacker than asphalt and nearly 3 billion miles or 4.8 billion kilometers away. Between Cordelia, Ophelia and Miranda is a swarm of 8 small satellites crowded together so tightly that astronomers don't yet understand how the little moons have managed to avoid crashing into each other. Anomalies in Uranus rings lead scientists to suspect there might still be more moons. In addition to moons, Uranus may have a collection of Trojan asteroids, objects that share same orbit as the planet. In a special region known as Lagrange Point, the first was discovered in 2013. Despite claims that the planet's Lagrange point would be too unstable to host such bodies. Well, to discuss about the structure of the icy giant, Uranus' cyan color is due to the absorption of red light by atmospheric methane. Its atmosphere is gaseous hydrogen, helium, and methane. Its mantle is water, ammonia, and methane ices. Its core is silicate or iron nickel rock atmosphere the gaseous atmosphere gradually transitions into the internal liquid layers mantle the ice mantle is not in fact composed of ice in the conventional sense but of a hot and dense fluid also called a water ammonia ocean magnetic field a relatively large magnetic field is generated by convection currents at shallow depths within the planet And the last one, research and exploration. NASA's Voyager 2 was the first and as yet only spacecraft to visit Uranus. Although there is not a spacecraft on its way to Uranus at the moment, astronomers regularly check in with the planet using the Hubble and Keck telescopes. In 2011, the Planetary Science Decadal Survey recommended that NASA consider a mission to the icy planet, and in 2017, NASA suggested a number of potential future missions to Uranus in support of the forthcoming Planetary Science Decadal Survey, including flybys, orbiters, and even a spacecraft to dive into Uranus' atmosphere. Scientists are still discussing the idea. In 2019, 
NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center suggested one possible design could involve an atmospheric probe, similar to the one used in Jupiter during the Galileo mission. Well, if you want to see my Jupiter Planet documentary video, then kindly click on the top right. In 2018, an ambitious group of early career scientists and engineers created a theoretical full mission design that would cost $1 billion and take advantage of planetary alignment that would happen in the 2030s. At that relatively low cost, the mission would perform minimal science but could still include items such as magnetometer, a methane detector, and a camera. Okay, 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 that is enough. Let us come back from that cold planet. Otherwise, it will freeze your blood and also your thoughts and brain. So if you found this video somehow informative about Uranus and if you love my content then please like this video and if you want to support me then please subscribe my channel and turn on the notifications. So hope so that I will meet you in another informative video like that. So stay tuned till then. Allah peace.